Hi guys, maybe you know the problem. You have a light source and you want that the light should pass through glass. For example, you make something like an oil lamp or you have a simple window and you want that the sunlight should pass to the window glass. And the problem is, if we only use the normal glass BSDF shader, it does block too much light. So to show you the problem, if I put the light point in between the glass, as you can see, it nearly blocks 80% of the light. And unfortunately, it also doesn't help if we just increase the power value. So for example, I put a very high number here and as you can see, it doesn't help anything. Because the problem is that the glass BCF only let a limited amount of light to the object. So what can we do here? Actually, it's pretty simple. Just click on the glass and then we first need a mix shader node. Put it in between and then we also need a light path node. All right. Then we connect the is shadow ray to the effector. And finally, we also need a simple transparent BSDF and also connect it to the mix shader node. And as you can see, now all the light goes to the glass. Um, of course, we have set it way too high. So I set it to 100 again. And yeah, now it's perfect. But keep in mind that we cut out the shadows of the glass with this method. So I would only recommend it if you have a light source in the glass or you have something like a window, for example, where we don't need a shadow of the glass. And also a little tip, if you deactivate multiple importance, then you can see the light point in the glass. And the last thing we can do to improve our glass material is to make some imperfections. Because in the real world nothing is perfect and it's pretty easy to add some finger prints or make a frozen glass look. So just select the glass and instead of the glass BSDF we will use a principled BSDF. Connect it to the mix shader and set the transmission to 1 and the roughness to zero for now. Okay, then we also need a color ramp and a noise texture. Okay, we connect the effector to the factor and the color to the roughness. Um, here we can increase the contrast a bit. Okay. Uh, here I would also set the roughness to 1 and the detail also very high to 50. And now if we put down the scaling, then we can play a bit with the color ramp sliders. Yeah, to get the look we want. So we are done, I hope you liked it and if so then please leave a comment and a thumbs up and see you in the next video.